Hey guys, Big Papa Pub here. Now wish me luck. I'm playing as Titanosaurus. Versus Godzilla from like 1992 or some shit. Now Titanosaurus had various roles throughout Godzilla history. And uh, he's been included in the comics, and I believe in one of the films that also starred Mechagodzilla. But look at this, how he has this epic tail attack. The fuck he has chicken pox or something. But nonetheless, it makes me wonder if we're going to see something similar to Titansaurus in the upcoming Godzilla 2 King of the Monsters film. As the director has notified news outlets and shit, or something, or in some interview, anyway, made mention of how there are going to be other monsters in the film, other than Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Rodent. Now, I know folks are saying they're not going to be trademark kaiju. They're going to be new monsters created by the Monsterverse. But I've heard speculation, man, a little bloody came and chirped in me's ear about how there's going to be a kaiju that looks like Ingyrus. Basically, fuck, died. Oh well. But basically, the monster versus version of Ingyrus. And the same could apply to other kaiju. But check this out. It claims on the uh, Godzilla wiki page. Here, I'll let Godzilla beat his ass again. That Mechagodzilla is just a machine. He's no match for Titanosaurus. Titanosaurus has brains. He's alive. I want to show them what he can really do. I'll teach those humans for failing to recognize me. They mocked me. <laughs> well, now they're going to eat their words. Go, Titanosaurus. And... I go down the list here and I see that Titanosaurus is a deep sea dwelling creature who sports a fin on his tail and along his back. He also has a rather long neck. Interesting, so he's somewhat aquatic. Titanosaurus is technically not evil. But uh, since he was mind controlled in terror of Mechagodzilla. Oh, interesting. Some of the characters in the film also mention that Titanosaurus has a calm nature and would normally not attack. And yeah, he was in terror of Mechagodzilla, apparently. Oh. And he has physical abilities, like he's tough as nails. And uh, he can beat the shit out of things with his hands. But also, he's able to emit a sonic wave, which uh, he displays, apparently, in the video game Godzilla Unleashed. And he can release it from his mouth. Why the hell does it this one release it from his mouth? This one just has a tail with it. Huh. So he might have other abilities. And uh, his tail is also a nice weapon, because it can whip up a cyclone. Oh yeah, that's what we're seeing right here. It's whipping up a cyclone. That's tight. And here's the description of the Titanosaurus in the video game Godzilla Unleashed. It says, Titanosaurus is a prehistoric throwback. A primitive monster from an ancient age who has managed somehow to persist in contemporary times. Titanosaurus lives deep in the ocean, hibernating for hundreds of years in a stretch. In recent years, humans have disturbed Titanosaurus, increasingly incurring his wrath. Though not specifically evil, Titanosaurus holds up no allegiance to any particular ideology and would not hesitate to secure additional power for himself should the opportunity arise. This frequently places himself in opposition to Earth Defenders and the Global Defense Force. Titanosaurus employs his towering height, powerful tail, and sonic waves to intimidate or subjugate any beings who dare to disrupt his ancient lifestyle. Well, let me know what you guys think. Do we need to see Titanosaurus in an upcoming Monster vs. Godzilla film, and why? Let me know in the comments below and like this damn video. I'm the Ice Man. Peace be with you.